The performance and technology class here at Duke is really trying to introduce students into the connection and collaboration between artists and engineering. I, I was used to the idea you learn C++ and then you write code. What you do actually as, an, as a, a, a cross-disciplinary artist is you find other people's code you, with, from collaborators and people you've heard of and you munge it together to make new pieces. And that is so much faster and so much more powerful and so much more liberating and it's something that almost anyone can do with a little bit of background. And we kind of hope that the people who were dancers in this class will come out of that with at least the ability to do that kind of thing. It's, it's intended to make it comfortable for them to get moving because a traditional technique class is going to be um, a lot harder to, to kind of jump into. Um, whereas this, it's like you, you get moving right away, you start using it with the interfaces right away, making stuff to, to react to in the performance, and then use the, those provocations to build a set of tools um, toward more complex and more interesting movement and more interesting interactions between the movement and the technology. It introduces students to basic theory and history around digital performance and performance in live art. It introduces students to contemporary artists working in this mode. And probably most importantly, it gives students a chance to actually engage in making things. Between the three of us on the faculty, we bring our specialties to bear in terms of physical action and things that bodies can do and creative critique. And when you make something, how do you talk about ways to make it more effective and stronger in terms of your creative expression? You know, while we each think of the projects and the class in slightly different ways, I think we also are really working to understand how people working in a different field are thinking about the problems of how to, you know, how, what do we want, what are we trying to teach, how are we, what are the goals for the course, how do we want to get students to come to an understanding, how do we, how do we use the projects to push the students towards something challenging. Even as a software guy, I do musicals on campus, so I, I do a bit of, not, not dancing, but I do like a lot of movement work on stage, So which is why I took this class, because I was very interested in like seeing how both two realms, which I never thought would usually intersect, are intersecting on stage. The Arduinos have um, touch sensors, so um, when the two performers in the back move with their hand over the sensor, the lights go on and off. So right now this thing I'm working on is a distance sensor that um, plays sound which the volume depends on the distance between like the person, the actor and this sensor over here. We're kind of tying in our last project where we had uh, the shoebox open if you got closer to it and now this time when you get close to it it'll open and now we're tying in a projection to a uh, display basically a random assortment of, of images about the environment. <laughs> I think a lot of people can see how when you look at something like dance, which has been around for a long, long time, and you've, you know, you've had fields like ballet, which Tyler's an expert in, which are very traditional, and how bringing technology into those kind of fields is pushing the edges. It's a little bit more difficult to see how that drives engineering. Um, but one of the things that we always keep talking about, particularly for a long time I work, worked in um, the internet backbone technology, the fiber optic networks that were involved in that. and particularly in the 90s, we kept going, man, we need the killer app, we need the killer app, we need something that's going to drive that technology forward. And right now, actually, that is video, right? I mean, Netflix and, and Amazon and these companies that are shipping video over the internet is an example of the killer app coming from a, a, a fairly long-standing art form. This is a new frontier, and it's really exciting to be at the edge of it. We would imagine our students might become dance makers, which would be great. Uh, they might become video game designers, which would be great. And video games, we still use the word video with game, but of course these are becoming much more embodied experiences. And so this is a class and a forum to kind of start asking those questions and make stuff with each other and see what happens. It is new because it does exist in the arts 
and in engineering and in cultural studies. I mean, we're curious about what it means to have um, people coming with different backgrounds into these areas of performance and technology and thinking about social concerns, social issues, cultural issues, what matters. So we're not trying to make it all um, unambiguous that the technology is science and it just sits there and then there's performance which might be personal but doesn't have to be personal. We want these things to bounce off each other and to be messy but really to make these uh, unexpected inspired spaces of unanticipated collaboration <laughs> with the body. You got to dance it too. <laughs> <laughs>